Hello everybody, welcome to my Bombshell Movie Review. I watched this movie a couple weeks ago at a special screening, so I got to see a little bit early, but I think now it's out in a wide, wide release. Um, if I had to describe this movie in one word, it would be biased. It's clearly left, left, left leaning, uh, left biased. Um, trying to portray uh, Fox News as this terrible place to work. Now granted, yes, there were harassment charges there, but all of Hollywood has this type of stuff going on. So clearly this movie has an agenda to discredit that studio and somehow make anything that they say not valid as if NBC... Now, now look, Fox lied for eight years about weapons in Iraq, but so did every other studio. Given the current climate, I think they are the only ones giving a fair shake to this president. CNN, NBC, to a lesser degree ABC, CBS, to a lesser degree, but more so NBC and CNN, are unbelievably biased. In, in my opinion, they are just the media uh, division of the Democratic Party. I'm not Democrat. I'm not Republican. I don't care about political parties, okay? Um, so I can recognize this stuff. When I see it, uh, I was so against Fox for, for the entire George Bush uh, administration. I was kind of out of politics during Obama. I, I lost interest up until his last two years when I really sensed this whole identity politics and all this craziness starting to happen on campus, and I did not like it. And then they doubled down on that stuff in the next election. So this movie is very, very biased. However, um, I... I enjoy watching Fox News right now because I like watching the left get trolled. I hate identity politics. I hate tribalism. Um, all this stuff is nonsense. Everything that the left is accusing the other side of doing is because they are doing it themselves because they think that way. They don't understand how the right thinks. The right doesn't care. And they are just so ingrained in their own way of thinking that they can't fathom how someone else could think a different way. Therefore. They think that the other side is approaching it from a tribalistic point of view the same way that they approach everything, and they are not. So, that being said, um, a lot of this focuses about on the um, sexual harassment kind of stuff, and, you know, the old man. It kind of builds on the hashtag Me Too stuff, but I don't know why they had to isolate Fox, which is why I say this movie is biased. Now, it is a, it is a well-made film. Um... Nobody here is going to get any Oscars, uh, except I do think makeup. Um, it might get nominated for makeup because Charlize Theron as Megyn Kelly was unrecognizable. Um, so I, I do think that it might get a nomination for best makeup. No, nothing else is all that clever. Some of the stuff is kind of like, okay, I see what you guys are doing. You guys made up this character so she could be kind of like the generic, oh, come in and pull up your skirt and show me your panties at Fox type of deal. And John Lithgow plays play, play, plays um. Oh my god, he, he plays this um, Roger Ailes, which is this creepy old, 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 fat, disgusting, job of the hut looking white guy who apparently would ask girls to give him a blowjob. And all this stuff is despicable. All this stuff is despicable, but let's be fair, I guarantee you this happens all over the place. I wouldn't be surprised if Don Lemon snorts cocaine in his office during his lunch break. Like, come on. If there is an industry, I would say Hollywood. And, and now, now news is becoming Hollywood. It, 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 it pretty much is at this point. It's the same thing. It's the entertainment industry. Um, these people, the news now is not what it was. They care about selling papers and getting ratings. There's no more turning to the news for guidance or for any... It's almost entertainment. Um... It's, it's, it's lost all credibility. And, and Fox as well, but I, I do think... They're, they're, I watch everything. I watch everything because I, I don't like... I, I watch things that even go against what I believe, just so I can understand how the other side thinks. Most people don't do that. Most people only consume what reinforces what they already want to believe. And like that, you start to form your own bubble. Um, both sides do this. Which is why I don't have a lot of friends, because on one issue I'll think one way and people start to think, okay, well, he's one of these people. But then another issue comes up and I think the other way. Um, they're like, well, who are you? Well, you're with us with that. Oh, well, now you sound like a this or now you sound like a that. And um, so I just don't, I don't know, don't have a lot of friends because of this. Um, 
which only speaks to the greater issue here, which, you know, it, it, anyways, I don't want to get sidetracked, but uh, Hollywood is one of the douchiest, most racist industries in the world. And for them, these actors and whatnot, to get up there and start pointing the fingers at coal miners and, and blue-collar workers and acting like, oh, they're the bigots, they're the bad ones, they're the, they're the racists, they should like take a good long look in the mirror. This movie picks on Fox, but this happens everywhere, right? This ha- this 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 happened with New Line, with um, what's his name, the stupid troll who was an asshole. But Brett Ratner was one. Um, Harvey Weinstein, um, and and who knows who else. So it's a little bit unfair for them to pick on Fox, but I, I I did have a good laugh with the portrayal of a lot of these, like Bill O'Reilly. I think they did a deep fake on him. Um, <laughs> the guy who played Sean Hannity, that was a lady. I know all these characters. Uh, Janine, somebody played uh, Judge, Judge Janine Shapiro. I, I I enjoyed the movie. It was enjoyable. I guess movie seventy one, okay, and um, I enjoy Fox News. I can laugh at myself. Unlike the left, who takes itself way too serious, they've lost all sense of humor. Even things that are clearly a joke, they sit there and, oh, oh my God, that dog isn't really at the White House. Uh, what happened, man? What happened? Anyways, um, did you guys see this movie? Did you like it? Do you want to see it? Um, what did you guys think? Uh, leave your comments below. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell. And I will see you later. Okay, bye.